Small batch biodiesel. What you'll need to complete a small batch of biodiesel is 91% isopropyl alcohol. Household lye will be the catalyst we'll be using. Lye water, which is one gram of lye to one liter distilled water. Safety glasses, gloves, syringes, two sizes. Your titration testing vessel, a glass jar to put your mixture in, your phenolphthalein, a measuring cup, heat, yellow bottle only, contains methyl alcohol, blender with a glass container, and a digital scale. Titration testing for small batch. Again, you'll need 91% alcohol, your lye water, your sample of waste vegetable oil, and your phenolphthalein. First, we'll take our container and put 10 milliliters isopropyl alcohol into our container. Next, three drops of phenolphthalein. One, two, three. The third step is take lye water. Add one drop at a time until it turns pink. This is canceling out any acids that are in the alcohol. And notice the pink color. Now, we take our sample of waste vegetable oil and get all the air bubbles out. It's very important to get all the air bubbles out of your waste vegetable oil at this point. We want to dispense exactly one milliliter of waste vegetable oil into our solution. Never go from one to zero. It's very inaccurate. Always go from two to one or one and a half to one half, but never one to zero. Now I'm going to add one milliliter of waste vegetable oil to this solution. And notice as I swirl, the pink color disappears. Next, I'm going to take our lye water syringe. Now we have to make sure and get all the air bubbles out at this point. Next, we need to go up to an even number. The next even number so we can start a calculation from there. The next even number on our syringe is two and a half. Notice, your waste vegetable oil will be separated to the bottom. That's all right as long as you swirl. Now, we're going to add one tenth of a milliliter of lye water to our waste vegetable oil solution until it turns back to that pink color. And we're going to note how many tenths of a milliliter it takes. And that will be our titration result. There's point 0.1. No pink. Point 0.2. No pink. Point 0.5. No pink. 1.0. Some pink, but it goes away. 1.5. Pink and it goes away a little slower. The closer you get to the right titration number, the longer the pink will stay. We need it to stay for 30 seconds. Stays longer. There's 2.0. That's exactly what our titration number is, is 2.0. Next, we'll go on to processing the small batch. For this batch, we're making a half a liter. So take your glass measuring cup, and measure out 500 milliliters of your waste vegetable oil you want to make a small batch of. Pour it in your blender. Next, you'll want to use some of your isopropyl alcohol to clean out this container and be careful to not get any on you. Mix it in and then wipe it out. Next, we'll need a 20% ratio of methanol, which is the yellow bottle of heat, which will equal out to be 100 milliliters. And next, we'll need to add our catalyst to our methanol to make methoxide. 
online biodiesel calculator showed that for a half a liter with a titration result of 2.0, we will need 2.8 grams of catalyst. So we'll weigh those out on our scale. I like to use a piece of paper so I've got something to pour with after I weigh it out. Notice, put the lid back on your catalyst immediately because it's dangerous, will burn you, and will absorb humidity and go bad. Next, we take our catalyst, add it to our methanol, and we'll take an object and stir it, preferably something wood, until all the catalyst is dissolved. Next, we'll put our lid on. I take the plug out of the top so I can pour my meth oxide into my waste vegetable as it's mixing. It's important to put the top on while you turn it on. Make sure to add this slowly. This is our final product, biodiesel. As you can see, there's the clear layer on the top, glycerin layer on the bottom. Notice how clear and see-through it is. Hold up the light some more. And this is what your biodiesel small batch should look like when you're finished. Thanks for watching. Good luck making biodiesel.